Hello guys and welcome to this video. Participating in hackathons and coding competitions gives us an opportunity to improve our coding and programming skills. Not only this, it also helps us to communicate with coders all over the world. But here one question arises. Where to find such opportunities, right? So, today in this video, we are going to talk about one such platform where we can find such opportunities and participate in them. So, without wasting any time, let's begin. Okay, the platform is known as Wavefolio. We have to open our browser and then simply type in the site that is Wavefolio.co. Okay. Okay. We are going to land on this dashboard. On this dashboard, we can find five tabs at the top. One is the hackathons tab where you can find and see the various hackathons that are available that are available and you can apply to them. Okay, so here are the listed hackathons. Also, there is another tab that is about where they, uh, the Dayfolio team introduces themselves to you. And third one is the blog section where you can see and read blogs related to you and various other programs. Also, there is an option to organize a hackathon where you can organize your own hackathon, maybe from the side of your college or maybe your coding community as per your choice. And last is the sign in option. Before applying to the hackathons, we have to remember that we have to sign in. So let's click on this button. Okay, so here we have an option. If you don't have an account, please. Visit this link below. Cre uh, don't have an account? Create one here. So we will be clicking on this link, and we will be creating our account. If we don't have an account for day for you, since I'm having my account, I'm going to show you the login process. Here is my Gmail. That is astronomer two zero six, and the password. Okay, we are signing. Okay, here's the dashboard we are, uh, where you guys are going to land. So, uh, since my all profile is complete, when uh, you are going to first open this site and create your login, you will be landing on the profile page. Here in the profile, you must remember your profile should look professional as it will be seen by the various organizers of the hackathon. So, at the very first page, you have some basic information that consists of your name, last name, your gender, and the t-shirt size. T-shirt size is just that in some hackathons, there are merchandises that are, that are offered. That may be t-shirt, cups, or water bottles, etc, etc. So for t-shirt size, you have to give your t-shirt size on the platform. You can also add into your bio, like you add into your Instagram and WhatsApp. But to be precise here, it should be a professional bio. Second tab, you will see of the education tab where you can enter all your educational details. Uh, third tab will be of the experience where you can enter all your experiences, your languages, you know, your resume, etc. Fourth one will be the links to the other profiles. For example, GitHub. LinkedIn, Facebook, and Hackerel. So here I have put in four. You can also add in more if you have any, or you can just skip this section if you don't want to add your profiles. And last but not the least will be the contact where you will be having your personal contact and an emergency contact number. Let's say I'm taking part in Reva Hack. So just click on participate. 
uh, again understood let's do it here it says my application is 100% complete so i don't need to do anything i just have to click on the submit application button okay here we can see four tabs the timeline tab where it describes all the timelines the start when the hackathon starts when the hackathon ends and the announcement of the results day second tab will be of the announcement where the organizers of the hackathon will be making certain announcements that the participants needs to follow third tab will be of the prizes where all kinds of prizes will be displayed to you what are the opportunities to the participants and last is the overview tab where you can see the organizers website and other social media handles also there is a option where you can either submit a project in solo like as it has been clicked here by default so here you have you are the single one who will be creating the project and submitting the second option will be of submitting in team where you can create your team for that just click on submitting in team you have to enter your team name. for example my team name is vet karma so i'm going to enter that name and just click on create teams option as once the team is created a code will be generated like this over here you have to simply copy the code and send it to the your friends or the your coding community members whom you want to join your team okay once so what they have to do they have to follow the same procedure they have to log into their dayfolio account enter the team name as bet karma and then your code over here that you send to them once this is done all your team members will be showed up here here we have a limit of 4 so decide you other three can join so you are the deciding person whom you want to get in your team once the team is created and the project submission starts that is the hackathon starting date like here it is on 4th november so on 4th november this tab submitting project for submit project for judging will be active on that day and you can just click on add projects and start adding your projects over here okay next on the top we have another badge that tab called the badges tab where you can earn badges here you have to only attempt two quizzes related to front end and back end to earn your badges and showcase it to your friends next is the project tab where you can see all your projects you have submitted till date for example um i am having two projects right now one is the supermarket management system and second one is the i project also if you need ideas and you don't have any to create a project but you want to participate in hackathon you can also go to this and inspire me where you can see various project ideas and start working on them okay nice and last but not the least is your final login option uh, on the right hand corner top here you can see all of the tabs that i have explained till now oh, my day folio and profile are the two where you can set your username and password etc and others i have already explained the hackathon tab badges projects organize a hackathon setting and last with the log out you need to log out so i hope you guys like this video and please don't forget to click the subscribe button and share it to your friends also at the end i would like to say to no more and explore you can go and create your account on their folio and start hacking so Oh, 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 oh,